Welcome to the world of Nadi Astrology. My name is Dr. N. Srinivasan Shastri. Today we are going to talk about Sun. Till my last videos, I was telling you about the houses, different ways of knowing things from the sixth house, fifth house. And I stopped it at sixth house because a man wants to know about his first, about his second, fourth happiness, fifth children, sixth diseases. And the second thing is, there is a reason why I have stopped at the sixth house because by the time Jupiter takes the 12 years round till the 6th house, the native's age would have been 72. Okay? After that he will have achievements, but in, instead of uh, giving that study now, for the time being, I have stopped it at 6th house. Okay? 7th house we are not bothered much. 8th house, Aishthana Adipati or Aishthanam that can be dealt when we touch Saturn also. So because I thought it was less important to know about those things and I wanted you all to know more about the planets. That's why I have named this session as Unknown Facts About the Sun. I don't, I exactly mean it because unknown facts. Everybody knows about the signification. Why? I myself have given you about the significations of sun, sun in different houses, what sun is meant or for or what uh, significations sun gives us. Okay? That is one part. The second part is how you can look about the father through the planet sun just one signification sun and the native father and the native just today we are going to speak about only sun and what all we can know through sun certain you can call it as unknown facts only because most of them have not touched most of them means most of the astrologers have not touched this. Traditional astrology or Vedic astrology so called, they touch in a different format. But here, what I have observed, that I wanted to give it to you for uh, a unique way of presentation or it is a unique way of knowing things. Okay? So, Sun. <clears throat> what usually Sun says? Sun tells us about the father. Okay? Sun is the father. Okay, fine. What all you can know about a sun? How many things you can know about a sun? Now, please observe this. Sun, immaterial of his placement in any Rasi or sign. Sun, immaterial of a male or a female chart. Sun is the father for both. It is a male native or a female native. Sun is the father, right? Okay. When sun is the father, we will start with the sun's placement, right? Okay. Now here, in this chart, or in the North Indian chart, sun and Mercury are placed in Virgo. Here also, the South Indian chart says that sun and Mercury are in Virgo. When Sun is in Virgo, Virgo is the title I have given here because I have placed it in Virgo. You don't worry about the sign or Rasi. You just feel that Sun. And Sun with the planets. This is point number one. Sun and the planets in conjunction or aspect at times, not all times. You be careful in this way of 
uh, what you call it, uh, this knowledge. Here, when I say conjunction with the planets, when Sun is having two planets with him, in this case it is only one planet. So, the native's father, son, will have one brother or one sibling. Clear? I will repeat once again. Son is the father. Immaterial of the sun placement, the planet sun's placement. The sign where sun is placed with sun, the number of planets are counted for siblings. If there is one planet with sun, one more sibling is there with father. Two planets in sun, two more planets or two siblings are there with sun. That is totally in addition these two planets, sun, three. This is how or this is what we can know about sun and the planet's conjunction. Fine. I hope you have understood. If time permits, I will repeat it once again. Now when you know about the sun and when you want to know about the planet sun's placement, that placement, that sign of Rasi tells about the father that we have already done. What else you can know about sun? This is it. If the number of planets are in conjunction, so many siblings will be there for the father. Okay. <clears throat> Next one. These siblings also will double when they are placed. If sun is placed in Gemini, if sun is placed in Gemini, two more planets are there in conjunction with sun, it's a sun in Gemini. Immaterial of a male planet, immaterial of a female planet. So, Gemini is a twin house. Pisces, Gemini and also Virgo. Last comes Danus. These twin house will indicate us one more two for one planet twin so if you got two planets in gemini with sun it is six siblings if you got two planets in virgo with sun two plus one sun three double six of course even here in uh, the, the, the early deaths brothers or siblings who had died earlier before um, before the father's birth or before uh, after the father's birth even that is counted Pisces if sun is there with two planets two planets plus sun three planets because it is a dual sign or twin sign so Pisces will give you six siblings totally including sun understood yeah so this is the speciality of sun's placement in different houses about the rasis we have dealt now the specialization is here this this is why i call it as unknown facts because not everybody touch these so sun is over the number of say, siblings can be known with the conjunction of sun planets with the conjunction of sun second the second house from sun just like we do for the native the second house from jupiter is called as kutumasthana or dhanasthana in the same format in the same way Sun's second house will be the Kutumbasthana for the son, will be the earning part for the father, father of the native. Okay? So, son 
the planet sun's placement and from there the second house will be the father's kutumbasthana the father's dhanasthana same thing here sun is placed in kanya varku the second house is tula seventh house this sun's second house will become the fathers the natives fathers kutumbasthana the natives fathers dhanasthana this is one thing according to individual planets we can know what type of profession he will be have that is secondary part we will come this is only to know about what all we can know we are not breaking it till there this time for that also so this is over now when the suns the planet suns the second house tells us about the fathers the natives fathers kutumbasthana if at all in that kutumbasthana immediately after sun that is called as kutumbasthana and if at all in that kutumbasthana two female planets are there just like this case the father will have two wives okay right this is one more point about finance or about his income about his source of income you can know from the second house about the family also you can know from the second house from the planet sun so the second house will be father's family okay when two female planets are there for sure this father of the native will have two wives okay in some cases in some cases you can find another difference also forget jupiter forget all these things remember i am teaching you only sun and the second house if at all you find this combination that is after sun a venus after venus moon what does that mean <clears throat> this is time for thinking if sun immaterial of his placement immaterial of the chart male or female chart after the sun if there is a female planet and after that venus if there is moon then you can clearly say that native is the second wife's kid how i told you kutumbasthana venus but for the native sun is the father moon becomes the mother so father has touched a woman before getting the jupiter that is the native and after that moon is moon is here moon is here so this moon is the mother for the native this is the third way of knowing the kutumbasthana clear so when sun has venus first after that moon you can be very sure the native of this chart is born to the second wife of the father second wife's child i'll put it back this is about the kutumbasthana of the father now what all we need from a father what all we have to know about the father father's earnings father's family life and father's happiness just like jupiter's photosis native's mother native sukasthana likewise from sun from the placement of sun the fourth house will be <coughs> the father's the native's father's 
house, domestic house, the natives, father's mother, that is grandmother for the native, happiness of the father, from the photos, from son. Now here, when we, we have to look into all this, then only you can touch some part of the astrology or you can touch in detail about a person. Only if people ask you, on, they are happy with only certain set of questions and answers, fine. But there are people who want to know in depth or they will first try to test you how far your knowledge is okay. If you start telling them in depth, they will feel happy. You will also feel happy after touching these subjects and if you touch these points regularly, you will become a master. Right? So, son's fourth house is nothing but happiness. Now here, now I will explain here, because happiness part of it is important for the father. Native's father's happiness is important for the native also. So, if at all a malefic is there, in the fourth house from son, the father's mother will have a lot of problems. The native's grandmother will have a lot of problems. Second thing is, the father's happiness. He will not have happiness in his life. He will be just struggling throughout his life. This is the fourth. If a benefit is placed, it will be good. And there is one more speciality. If at all, Jupiter is placed from the father's fourth house, okay, from the sun, the planet sun, in a natal chart, the planet sun's fourth house is placed with Jupiter. Then the father's family is a popular family. That is clear. Okay. The mother, the grandmother of the native, this is father's mother, the native's grandmother, she will be a popular person. And if at all, Venus stays in this fourth house from sun, father's family would have been a rich family. If Mars stays in the fourth house from sun, father's family will have landed property income and lot of lands. Okay? This is about knowing the photos from sun and that sun is nothing but native's father. So about the native's father, happiness and his mother, you can know in this form. Right? After happiness, what all we need? We don't need the fifth house from sun because it is the native itself. Sixth house, yeah, we need it, but we are not that much bothered because the transiting Jupiter will give us that answer that you will come to know when I do the transit part of it. Now the only secret, whatever you want. If at all, <coughs> if at all, ah, you forget about the sickness, seventh house is not that important for us. Eighth house. From sun, the eighth house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth house. From sun, the eighth house will be the Aishthana Adipati of the Father. That we need. The important things what we are going to check about the Father and tell the native are these. So, Aishthana Adipati, to check Aishthana Adipati, if the father is suffering, sometimes we will, uh, we like to know how long he is going to suffer. So, we will see the Aishthana Adipati of the, Aishthana or Aishthana Adipati of the father. And according to the placement of planets, and according to the aspect of the planets, we decide on the Aishthana. I am not giving you in detail about that. This one I said because Sukhasthana is very important. I have kept it like that because while transiting Jupiter, while telling you about the transiting Jupiter, you will come to know about that. So the point is over. Next. 
if at all <laughs> this is one important thing if at all so sun is placed in the sixth house from jupiter if sun is placed in the sixth all the while i was telling you from sun but no i am placing of course i have already said this when i touched about jupiter and the houses but still now i want to repeat that again because if sun is placed in the sixth house from jupiter that is taurus that is taurus if that sixth house from jupiter it clearly says that there will be enmity between the native and the father if sun is there with the jupiter father and the native will be looking alike or will be having same qualities this is clear okay so sun with jupiter gives the same qualities or the looks of the father sun in the 6th or sun in the 12th from jupiter will bring enmity between the father and the son the need clear so i think i have touch on usually genetically science say that a grandson will be having almost grandfather's qualities have you ever thought why it is so i am not asking you to peep into the scientific reasoning through astrology you can know that okay i tell you when from jupiter 10th house is father Why ten thousand became the father? Yeah, there is a very good explanation. From Jupiter, four thousand is the mother, and the mother's jaya sthanam is nothing but mother's family is nothing but seven thousand from mother. That is the ten thousand from Jupiter. So naturally. So what I was telling you, when the four thousand is mother, the seven thousand is mother's husband. that will become 10th house from jupiter the father then what is father's father from sun the 10th house is father okay just like that this is the main reasoning because the 10th house from father jupiter aspects so it will be giving him the grandfather's qualities if at all sun is there in the 11th house from jupiter both son and father will be like friends okay and <clears throat> if 7th house from jupiter or if sun is placed in the fourth house from jupiter father will be ruling the family the house will be spiritual in nature i am not bringing the other significations i am telling you and i am concentrating only on the father point okay so so many things we can know from the sun that's why i call this as unknown facts of course so many people may know it but many do not know about these things a very few maybe some hundreds not all because everybody is trying to dig into knowledge nobody is that perfect right so finally i uh, i'm sorry once more i would like to make it a fast sun with a number of planets immaterial of sun's place in placement sun and the number of planets will tell father and the siblings okay sun's second house tells us about the father's income father's kudumbasthan family if there are two female planets father will have two wives 
if there is one female planet and after that moon comes in the next hour so the native is the why by is the sec, uh, child of the second wife this is for sure if sun has jupiter in the fourth house from him the father is from a popular family if sun has in the fourth house from him mars sun will be having a uh, father will be having landed property the father's father will be having landed property or landed property income if sun aspects the fourth house from jupiter father will be ruling the family from sun eighth house his sons i father's aishtanam aishtana adipati from there you have to count and if sun is there in the 11th house from jupiter the father and the son will be like friends if sun is with jupiter father and son will look alike or father and son will have the same qualities if sun is in the 6th house or 12th house from jupiter there will be enmity between the father and the son so about the sun i think i have done a little justice if at all anything is there or if at all i remember i am definitely going to put it in front of you all so till i meet you next time i think i would bet bye